Thank you for volunteering with the Great Baltimore Oyster Partnership. This partnership is a collaboration between Healthy Harbor, an initiative of the Waterfront Partnership of Baltimore, and the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, and you. In this video, we're going to walk you through how to set up an oyster garden by hanging cages of spat on shell. Spat on shell is a term for juvenile oysters. Each summer, adult oysters will spawn by releasing their eggs and sperm into the water column at the same time. The fertilized eggs then develop into larvae, which float in the water until they're about two weeks old. At this point, they develop a foot and then settle lower in the water in search of a hard substrate. In the wild, this is usually an older oyster shell. Once the larvae attaches to the shell, it begins secreting a glue and will undergo an internal metamorphosis to become a spat. In our case, the oyster larvae were bred at a hatchery and are attached to oyster shells that have been recycled from restaurants. So when you arrive, you'll need a bag of spat on shell, two empty wire cages, two lengths of rope, one clipboard and pen, eight zip ties, and work gloves. To maintain social distancing, please work only with the people with whom you arrived. Please also make sure to wear a mask and gloves for the entire event. The first thing you'll do is tie a bowline in knot, so if you don't know what that is, please practice on a shoelace or any other string you can find at home. I'm going to show you how to tie the knot with the free end in my right hand. So first, make a loop in your left hand. You want to make sure that the end closest to the tail is crossed over the top of the loop, not the bottom. Now I recommend holding the loop parallel to the ground and the other end of the rope tall like this. So the free end of the rope is going to be your rabbit, and the loop is its hole in the ground, and the long end is the tree. The rabbit is going to start underground, come up out of its hole, run behind the tree and then around, and then dive back down into its hole. Pull on the rope here and here, and there's your knot. So you'll have this tail here, a useful loop here, this is where the cage will be attached, and a knot that looks like a person in a life jacket. And now no matter which way the rope is pulled, the knot will only get tighter, but you can just loosen this part here and the whole thing will come undone. When you tie the rope to the actual cage, you'll thread it through a few squares at the top first, then proceed with the knot in the same manner. Make a loop in your left hand with the part closest to the free end on top. Put the free end up through the hole, the rabbit will run behind the tree and then back into the same hole and pull both ends tight, and you have your knot. Once your ropes are set, take a bag of spat on shell and empty half the bag into each cage. On your clipboard will be a data sheet. Fill in the top part with the date and your name or names if you're working in a pair or group. Now you're going to get an estimate of the average number of spat on shell in each cage. First, take a random sample of 10 shells from each cage. A random sample means you'll pick shells blindly, not just the ones that look good. If there are no spat on a shell, that counts too. On the data sheet, each table is for one cage, and you'll record the number of live spat you find per shell in this column. There will be an example picture of spat on the data sheet, and here are some real examples. A spat is alive if its shell is tightly shut. If the shell is open, don't count that spat. Please note that the inner white side of every shell will have a dark mark that looks like this. This is not a spat. It's a muscle scar from the oyster. Please make sure to count and record all the spat from both sides of the shell. Once you're finished, use four zip ties to close the lid, one on each side and two at the top. Note that the zip ties will have one side that's smooth and another that's ridged. Please make sure the ridged part is on the inside when you're securing your zip ties. Finally, take your cages to the dock Find a free cleat that will be on the edge of the dock and secure your rope to the cleat using a couple of figure eights and tucking in the tail securely.
Lower your oysters so that the top of the cage is about one foot from the water's surface and wrap the excess rope around the cleat. Then you're all done! Depending on the number of people in cages at the event, you will likely need to go through this process with multiple bags of spat. Once the oyster garden is all set, we'll return every month to collect data on the oyster survival and clean the cages thoroughly, since good water flow is critical for the health and growth of the spat. Thank you again for volunteering, and we look forward to seeing you at the event!